Is this the robot that the Jetsons promised 50 years ago? Is this the robot that's going to take over the world? Let's talk about that. The Jetsons was a cartoon television show that showed us the future. It was developed 50 years ago, and it had plasma TVs floating through the sky. It had flying cars. It had a whole fleet of robots between vacuum cleaners, uh, robots that would shave your face, robots that would make your food. It had a whole fleet of robots that helped the Jetsons live their life from day to day. This is one of those type of robots. This is a robot that vacuums my house. This little robot has changed our life. I have a hard time saying that about many objects that we've purchased in the past, but this one has changed our life. No, we're no longer worrying about who's gonna vacuum this week. We just hit the button at nighttime, let it run throughout the house, and when we wake up in the morning, we have full, nice little vacuum tread lines in our, in our carpet. It's fantastic. It has truly impacted our life, and that's a, that's a good thing. So it just drives around the house. It has these little bristles up front, and these bristles push the dirt into the bar. The bar then sucks it up just like any other vacuum cleaner. Now, the bar is very small in comparison to a normal vacuum cleaner, but that's okay because it just keeps driving around the room, picking up all the dirt that's left in the room. It goes over carpet, it goes over tile. It doesn't really matter what it is. It has sensors, it has proximity sensors in this front bar, so it can read whether or not it's gonna bump into something, and it will actually slow down and eventually stop. This bar here is a trigger. If it actually does bump into something, like sideswipe something that it didn't see, it will hit that, and then it will back up and then re-go. It's operated very simply. It's got a button on top here that you click and it starts going. We have a charging station up against the wall and it will actually travel and place itself on the charger and get recharged up without us having to go find it in the house. That's an amazing experience. So all you have to do is hit this button, let it run during the night. It's very quiet, won't keep you up and it will just go and vacuum out your whole entire house. So is this the future? You know, one of the things that I always talk about when I talk about the future is WALL-E, the movie WALL-E, where we are all in little pods and all these little robots are taking care of all the mundane tasks. There's, in WALL-E, there's, there's vacuums, uh, robot vacuums, there's robot welders, the people in Wally, the humans in Wally, don't have to do anything because they have all these little robots doing all the mundane tasks. Is this going to make us lazy to a point where we're not vacuuming our houses anymore? Maybe we're not dusting our houses anymore. Maybe we're not doing the dishes anymore. These are mundane tasks that we can create robots to replace those mundane tasks. So what does that mean for us in the future? If we don't need maids, does that then equate to job loss? Because we have all these little robots that are doing the maid's job? If you have comments about that, leave a comment down below. I'd really like to have a conversation about this. Is this the robot that's going to eventually take over the world? My thought is, is this is just a normal robot. It's one step above an RC car. It's got a lot of smarts to it. It's got a lot of function to it, but it's just an RC car when you break it down. So I don't see this taking over the world. I don't see this starting a robot revolution, but the next iteration of this, is that gonna have more intelligence to a point where we're gonna have to start worrying about it? Are we gonna be lazier because we have robots like this helping us with our mundane tasks? So if you have any comments about these little helpful robots or where you think robots are going to take us into the future, please leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear about it. Love to have a conversation about it. And if you would like to purchase the Nightlife A4 or one of the higher level models, go to Amazon. We'll leave a link down below so you can get directly to it.
like this kind of stuff, please subscribe down below and also give us a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. It gives, gives my channel a boost and I would really appreciate that. Thanks everybody for watching. Bye-bye.